All right, folks, I have tried and I have failed many games with lethal tempo. I think Halo Blades is just better, man. There's a lot of downsides to the Halo Blades, or sorry, to the lethal tempo that I just don't like. It takes too long to get ramped up compared to the Halo Blades that instantly get you the, the stuff. Hello, Warwick. How you doing? You know, just because you have barrier doesn't mean you have to use barrier. You know what I'm saying? I get so many of these early level one ganks that are just so much easier with Halo Blades. It's just so much easier. I can't I can't explain it. Hmm. Who are we drawing one against? Kazakh. Dude, every game is a Kazakh, man. I want to let my team know Kazakh's on the move here. We don't want to let Kazakh get a nice early lead on my team. This isn't bad. I still think even if you're not running the, the lethal tempo, that the the Reaker bow is better. Man, it's just really hard to explain, man. It's just really hard to explain. Kazakh, gonna gank, Diana. Hmm. Yeah, it's like so with um lethal tempo, you get five percent attack speed per stack, right? With Hail Blade, you instantly get one hundred ten percent. Oh, it's just insane. It's just insane, dude. I can't get over how bad it is. Like because I was really excited for it to come back, but it's not back. It's not back, my friends. I'm glad I didn't try it on PBE. I would have been really salty. I'm going to flash over it. Nice. Usually I flash into it. <laughs> Usually I just straight flash into it, but this time I flashed over it. You guys don't understand. That was a big accomplishment for me. The amount of times I flashed into Zerastone. That's probably the first one I ever flashed over, to be honest. Take lethal tempo and rush Kraken. So why would you take Lethal Tempo and Rush Kraken instead of running Hail Blade so you can get an instant Kraken proc? Mm. I should have gotten level 2 in my W. Also, Kraken got pretty heavily nerfed, my friends. Sorry for all the crack and enjoyers out there. You're looking at a 50% loss in damage. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy how much they uh, did that to the crack. And I want to head over to drag. I think I just do the full clear and go drag. Actually, what I can do, I actually have a really good plan here. We go drag, we recall, buy our stuff, and go to the grubs. Yeah, all items got nerfed, but Kraken got pretty heavily nerfed. So Kraken went from 300 gold at max level down to 200. Sorry, 200 damage. It's really bad. Blade ranking enough two times in a row. You said blade ranking 100%. Yeah, but like blade and rune king got buffed in some ways. I mean, okay, so in the latest patch, everything got nerfed, right? I was already running blade and rune king anyway. So the nerf doesn't matter, but Kraken got heavily nerfed. I never ran Kraken in a big one. On top of that, Blade of Rune King, when it got nerfed initially, they actually buffed it by making it do more damage at camps. Right? So we went from 50 max damage on camps up to 100. So even though it got nerfed, it actually got buffed. Like, the clear speed on Blade of Rune King is actually insane, and it's actually very useful. Like, you think, oh, it's not that useful because you get Blade of Rune King, you know, and then you're already clearing the jungle fast anyway. But you are actually, uh, no great to you are actually clearing the jungle pretty significantly with Blade of Ranking. It's very good. Look at that. So good. Oh shit, there's a Warwick on my face. Huh. I actually managed to come back on that.
And look at that. We got another hail of blades in that fight. Look at that. That's just great. Like, Lethal Tempo cannot compete with that. It just can't. It's insane. Like, le that's the that's kind of fight where Lethal Tempo would excel. But it doesn't. Like, Hail of Blades came up twice in that fight. Because on top of that, when we disengage from the fight, we lose a Lethal Tempo stacks. Disengaging from the fight is only a benefit when running Hail of Blades. Now I'm level 6. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys, I know Lethal Tempo has a lot of high behind it, but it's just not good, man. I mean, dude, Kazix can't do anything. He's low HP. I need to go back and buy. Now we go buy the better item. There it is. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We can buy Dagger now, too. I actually really like that. I like 250 gold and Dagger. What's it build now? It's the same. It didn't change. Mm. Though third item wits him, we might not get as often. But the thing is, I never make it a third item in Korea server anyway. We're very high tempo game. Like, this is a game where, like, Halo Blades is 100% better. It's just better. I'm so salty. I want lethal tempo to be good, guys. I do. Like, okay. Like, compare old lethal tempo. So you're like, but Kalsip, what changed between old lethal tempo and new lethal tempo? Um... Well, old lethal tempo got you like, I'm not even kidding, like 80% attack speed. It was like what? I don't even know. It was a lot at full stacks. Like it was a lot. That's a lot of attack speed. And it was kind of like, why would you ever bring Hail of Blades when lethal tempo basically gives you permanent 80% attack speed, right? On top of that, it gave you 50 range. So even after you stack it and they run out of range, you have this extra range to hit people. You can even hit people over walls with Master Yi. It was insane, right? The new lethal tempo gives you 5% attack speed per per up per stack, no matter what, right? And uh, and then it starts to do on hit damage, and the on hit damage scales with attack speed, but it's not a lot. And then when you look at the on hit damage, the problem is a lot of people look at the on hit damage, they're like, oh, you know, I'm doing 40 extra on hit damage, this is great. Well, no, you're not, because what you're actually doing. Look at that. Boom. Hail of Blades. What you're actually doing is you're doing zero on head damage until your seventh auto. And then you do 40 on head damage. So let's say you attack 12 times in a fight, which is a lot. That's a lot of times to attack in a fight. Okay. You got 20 on head damage instead of 40 because six of those attacks you had no on head damage and six of them you have 40. Like, it's really bad. Me and Diana want some of this. My future for my ink. That was the deal. God, it just feels so good. Bro, after playing Lethal Tempo, it just feels so good to go back to Hailblades, which is really crazy. Because I remember when we removed the uh, when we removed the uh, Lethal Tempo, I was like, man, I don't want to play Hailblades, but it grows on you. Nice. <laughs> if you want to see the Lethal Tempo gameplay, I have one uploaded on my YouTube channel. And it's a banger. It's a banger game. Let me tell you about it. But I feel like every situation where Lethal Tempo does well, Hail Blades can do it better. I'm going to wait for this. Yeah, I think it'll be I think it'll be buffed. And then Whitson got a 50% nerf on its on head damage. Oh, wow. Wow, I can't believe that pink actually paid off. I'm snowballing. Snowballing. 
Snowballing. Not to mention the lethal tempo short trades are just fantastic. You think against tanks, lethal tempo are better. So I actually, I had the opportunity to run lethal tempo into a Cassante that had less items than me. And uh, yeah, he pooped on me. I was actually very, very disgustingly surprised. I was very disgustingly surprised when he... Uh, Uh oh. I was disgustingly surprised when that dude walloped me, man. It was, it was tragic. It just felt tragic. Like it was like, I'm all super excited for lethal tempo. I engage on a Cassante that has an item less than me, and he destroyed me. He actually just straight destroyed me. Mhm. Mm I mean, I think we just got to concede that we can't kill tanks. Rampage. That doesn't help me all tanks while I use it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm telling you, you'll try it. You guys will try it and you'll go back to Halo Blades. Just because the tempo on Halo Blades is just too good. They'll, they'll buff it. And like the damage on it's really bad. Like, do you guys think... That my Hail of Blades has given me more than 99 damage. This Kai'Sa has 26 seconds of lethal tempo uptime, and she did 99 damage. Do you guys think Hail of Blades is worth more than that? Not to mention, dude, I've, I'm telling you, it's kind of like Conqueror. It, it really it suffers from the exact same problems as Conqueror. Oh, that was an interesting TP. By the time you get it going, it's over. Yeah, the double strike that you get from using Hail of Blades does more damage than your lethal tempo. 100%. Getting Zeke's now. So that's a fun build. I actually think the Zeke's build isn't bad. Hey, you ever had to grab the blue? But like, if I was running lethal tip, do you guys think I have 10 kills right now? Probably not. Right there, another hail of blades getting me a kill. That lethal tempo would not have gotten me. Which gave me another 300 gold, which can buy me daggers, right? Those daggers give me one third the power of lethal tempo. And that's GG right there. We completely snowball. This is it. You would not snowball like this if you're running lethal tempo. Unfortunately, I think Halo Blades is just better.